What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I want to talk about uh, some one, or one thing that was added in with update 1.07. I didn't really go into too much detail in my patch notes video because I kind of wanted to make a separate video about this and that is they added aim assist modes back into Black Ops Cold War. Now of course we saw some things like this in Modern Warfare. Now this is not to be confused with the response curve you know, that was added a few weeks back. This is actually the aim assist uh, mode which is standard legacy precision and focusing of course standard is that traditional aim assist slowdown uh, legacy is the alternate aim slowdown near the target this aim assist type is default in call of duty warzone uh, the precision is strong aim slowdown that kicks in when aiming close to a target best for accurate or quote accurate players and focusing is strong aim slowdown that only kicks in when narrowly missing the target best for players new to stick aiming now while i was running around today uh, playing some bots uh, playing in some games. I kind of swapped up back and forth between these. I have decided to stick with standard for right now. I still do not feel like standard works correctly. A lot of times I can be point blank on someone trying to get those point blank kills with subs and it's still just not acting like, you know, you're what you're used to seeing when it comes to aim assist. Usually you kind of get that slow down when you're really close to someone. Um, and it doesn't really seem to be working, you know, kind of that, that way. And I'll kind of give you some examples here go in and play one of these bots here in Nuketown. Um, of course, it won't be as, you know, as in-depth if I just had someone standing here, you know, that I was playing with that I could communicate with and tell them not to move. But you guys will kind of get the general idea. I just kind of want to give you a look at these really quick uh, so you can kind of understand that, you know, like I said, they are in the game, and you may want to mess around with these. And of course, it's going to depend on the person, what you want to have it on. Sometimes, I know a lot of people say it will depend on the controller. Uh, some people's controllers do not act as uh, well with some... Uh, aim assist, target assist, that kind of thing. But as you're going to see here with standard, you don't ever really see this thing grabbing this dude. He's going to kill him with a shotgun, but it's never really grabbing him much. It grabs you like right when it's on him, which is strange. And I think that's what one thing that makes these point blank kills so hard to get uh, because the aim assist is not like it's working correctly. The one that, in my opinion, that is pretty good, uh, I think if you're a fan of like DMRs, maybe even uh, something like um, sniper rifles is probably precision. It seems like precision really grabs at a distance when you strafe. Let me see if I can kind of give you an example. As you can see, it kind of slows down right there. So you can just kind of strafe back and forth with those kind of flick shots, if that makes sense. You'll see a lot of snipers in game, uh, you know, that run around and kind of do that drag shot, you know, where they'll drag scope you. They start here and then drag it across. And I think that precision aim for those top players, for people using even maybe the M16 or the AUG single shots, it's going to be really, really good, uh, which is kind of a bad thing because I, I think that snipers are, are good, or kind of good where they're at. A lot of people think they're too strong. Some people think they're too weak. We all can agree the AUG and the M16 are really good. So if you can kind of get at a distance and, you know, kind of drag that shot, you know, and hit somebody like that, it's going to be uh, kind of OP with a sniper, I think, because you're just going to be able to drag your shot across. So if you are a sniper, if you're a person that likes to use single shots, things like that, you may want to give these a look. Personally, like I said, I'm going to stick with standard because I feel like the others are not as good. The one, the legacy for Warzone, does not feel like it has any kind of sticky aim at all. It's just, it's really odd acting. And like I said, standard's kind of odd acting. To me, uh, you would think auto aim would kind of grab, you know, an enemy that you're close to. So if we can chase this bot down real quick. You would think it would start to grab them, you know, kind of at a close range instead of these kind of ranges. You can kind of see the aim will slow down. When I get close, trying to fire from the hip and then kind of go into ADS, it does not really slow down at all. See, it grabs really hard right here. When I get like point blank range, it's just all over the place. See, you know, I'm just moving my stick barely left and right, and you can see it's not grabbing at all. So anyway, guys, like I said, give those a look. You might want to try out some different ones depending on your play style, uh, depending on, like I said, your controller. You know, everything kind of reacts to players differently depending on their kind of setup and, and things and the way they like to play. But give them a look. They're probably going to make some changes to these, uh, I'm assuming, at some point because they don't seem like they act 100% like they're supposed to. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Make sure you check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time.